Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose. And today, my husband and I plan to do a cleanup day on our property. And I thought it would be fun to take you along to see the progress that we're making. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I'm a childcare provider for up to five children. And on my channel, you'll find tips and tricks, all things related to childcare, shopping halls, and the odd family vlog. So today we're mainly focusing on cutting down some old trees that have died and mainly just tidying up the property a little bit. So I thought I'd take you along to show you what we're up to. I thought I'd show you these beautiful flowers. I just had a graduation ceremony with my daycare children the other day and I got these beautiful flowers from one of the families. We're really enjoying these and they're perfect for Canada Day weekend. So my hubby's already outside fueling up all the equipment and I'm just gonna grab a quick smoothie before we get started. I also like to start my day with vitamins. I take vitamin B, C, and D, and some magnesium. And I like to take my vitamin D in a liquid format. I've been told that it works more effectively if you take it in a liquid format. And I definitely can't forget sunscreen and bug spray. We're gonna be outside in the heat most of the day. And so I definitely wanna protect my skin with some good quality sunscreen. This is one of my favorite natural sunscreens. It's, it's made by Kiss My Face. It applies really, really nicely. Right? It's not sticky and it's just really easy to rub into the skin. I also love this Badger Bug Spray and I thought I'd put some of that on too because we're gonna be working near some cedars. So I feel like we might be encountering some bugs when we're outside today. So part of living on a big property comes a lot of extra work and I'm hoping we can get a lot accomplished today. So let me just show you what we're hoping to complete today. So a lot of our trees have some dead branches that just need to be taken down and cleaned up. There's already one on the ground from the storm. We're hoping to open up this area right here that leads to our greenhouse. It'll just be a little bit easier access for us. So we're hoping to make a little path that goes through here. There's also another dead tree somewhere in here, but it's hard to see with the sun. We also wanna take out this Manitoba maple. Um, I'm not sure what the correct name is, but around here we call them Manitoba maples. And so we're gonna pull this out as well. There's also a couple of dead trees right here that we're gonna take out. And then we hope to clean up this little area here in my daycare yard. The trees have really grown in here and so we just want to clean this up a little bit and if we have time we're hoping to take down these other dead trees over here also clean up our little apple tree here as well as a couple of dead trees in the back here so that's what we're hoping to accomplish today let's see what we can get done
most of the cleanup done in the yard. And so now we're just gonna make that path through the little bush. I just wanted to show you here. So right here is the greenhouse. Our goal here is to make a path that goes through this little bush, um, a more direct route to the greenhouse. It smells so good. <laughs> we just finished up for the day and I thought I'd take you around and show you what we accomplished. So these trees got cleaned up. Some of the branches we weren't able to reach safely. And so we didn't get all of the ones in this tree, but most of the other ones are all tidied up. Down here, that opening so it's a lot easier to get to our greenhouse now I'm still not sure I might take the entire hedge out at some point but for now we just opened it up just so that we could get over here a little easier and it's a little more direct route. But I wanted to see if I would like it like this, just having a little opening. So I'm gonna leave it like that for a couple of weeks to see if I like it. We took down two little dead trees here and then a couple of dead trees here. We tidied this whole section up here in the daycare yard and the next task is to get rid of all the grass that's been growing in our sandbox. This is something we fight with every single year, but my daycare children love the sandbox, so I feel like it's worthwhile, even though it's a lot of work to keep up. Down, we took down another dead tree that was here and, and another dead tree that was right in here. And we tidied up our apple tree and then I quickly weeded our flower beds and gave them a quick water. So that was a super busy day, but we got a lot done and it feels good. I'm gonna go hit the showers. I'll see you next time.